Instagram. Would you guys look at this? Oh boy, I have so much snow again. It never used to be like this before. Uh, I have to clean a lot of this stuff now. How am I supposed to get in now? I'm trying to clean this. Oh no! There's still some snow that went inside. That's no good. So much snow again. It was snowing just a couple days ago. And now it's snowed again. And it is, it is still snowing. Well, I'm almost done cleaning my car. Would you look at me? So much stuff today. It's insane. Uh, hopefully, we're gonna have our summer and spring coming soon because I can't wait any longer. Yeah, guys. So the the roads are not too bad right now. Uh, they pretty much you know put salt uh, on the roads right now and all that so it's not as bad it's just kind of bad in the parking lots so I just gotta put some gas in the car and uh, I'm just going to do some stuff today uh, Anyway, so I'm driving and all of a sudden I see all the train tracks are closed and there's cops everywhere and doesn't that suck guys when you try to go somewhere you're in a rush and uh, you know you can't do nothing about it I mean I try to drive to other like train tracks you know the crossings and those are closed too and I don't know it's just insane and I have to probably drive around and see what I can do to get to my destination but yeah I wonder what happened you know um, maybe you know I'm gonna drive forward maybe I'll be able to see what happened I'm not sure but yeah that kind of sucks because now I'm gonna have to make circles and I'm not sure if those other crossings right there are gonna be open so well luckily I found a tunnel and I was able to go through there's the train tracks on the right side, but yeah, I'm not sure what actually happened And it seems like these crossings are working and it's fine So yeah, but that kind of sucks Well guys, so this is the way it was <clears throat> I just decided, you know, to go over my center console, clean everything and all that And uh, then, you know, I kind of opened this guy, the ashtray And then I removed you know the ashtray out of there and then I kind of noticed there's like something in there like something like I don't know like there was like a white paper in there uh, well kind of white so <laughs> and I decided to grab it you know and uh, this is basically what I found in there so it looks like somebody spilled some coffee or maybe hot chocolate on it whatever at some point but this was all the way behind the ashtray like pretty far uh, and I don't know how it got there and stuff but um, this is basically a receipt from uh, 18 years ago uh, and this receipt uh, I don't know if this is actually a receipt from a gas station I don't know if this gas city uh, gas station is uh, still existing but um, it is from uh, 18 years ago so let's try to go over it. Uh, let's see. So this is uh, 
so this is actually in Frankfort, Illinois. Yeah, so uh, just so you know, this is a 2000 Mercedes E320. Uh, this car was made at the end of uh, uh, 1999. And uh, yeah, so the first owner who, uh, who owned this car back in 2000, this is actually his or her seat. Uh, and this receipt, I mean, it's nothing too special. Uh, it just... Here I'm going to show you the date, if you can see the date on the top right there, it's 01-18-00, so it's basically January 18, uh, 2000, um, and uh, this was actually, yeah, that's the some cashier's uh, name back in the day, and uh, the interesting thing is, uh, as you all know, uh, maybe not all of you, but um, this, is, uh, this car takes premium gas. So, um, I looked at it and, uh, you know, the total price was $19 and the price for the gallon of a premium fuel back in 2000 was $1 and pretty much 50 cents. So, I don't know, um, nowadays, I mean, it's, you know, the premium gas is like more than $3 per gallon. So, um, if you guys are from a different state or, uh, you know maybe different country let me know how much uh, is the premium fuel in your country or your state uh, I would like to know that um, and this is basically yeah, what I found I mean uh, this uh, receipt has spent pretty much all, most of its life I mean <laughs> all of its life here in the car behind this ashtray so yeah so another thing that I was gonna ask you guys is uh, you know um, Put down in the comments below, for example, if you owned an old car and you found something interesting from a long time ago, from previous owners, just leave it down below, right? I would like to read all of your stories and that would be really awesome. And as you can see, it's it's snowing a lot um, in Illinois and uh, yeah, right now it's basically February of 2018. Uh, as you can see, there was we had so much snow. But yeah, hopefully uh, I'm gonna survive this, uh, you know, snow season, and uh, we're gonna have our spring uh, coming here soon. So if you ever go, for example, if you try to clean your car yourself, and uh, you know, there's always a lot of stuff that you can find, especially under the seats. Uh, in this case, you know, I was able to find a seat like that, uh, you know, behind the ashtray, which is so unusual. But um, to me it's kind of you know it brings me some history because uh when i was little uh you know back in the early 2000s you know i was i was probably like five years old and you know i was growing with these cars you know so i do like these cars and you know i just always wondered you know for example you know this is one of those cars that you know there was the first owner like every car had like its own you know first owner whatever so not every owner owns their car for you know a long time even if it's a brand new car usually they you know maximum like i don't know how many years they would own a brand new car but it depends you know on average it's like probably you know three four years you know that's how long you know uh the owners would uh keep their brand new cars uh and then after that they just sell it so uh to me I, i've always wondered for example you know like what's what is that person doing what is that first owner of this car doing right now like is he alive or is she alive like do they ever wonder like what happened to their car and what condition it's in now where is it at is it at the junkyard is it somewhere else is somebody driving it so you know this is my third car basically you know i used to own other cars and i always wonder you know and uh you know what's where they at right now like what's going on with those cars and all that because i even have a contact from uh the owner that bought one of those one of my previous cars before so i always keep contact with him and uh you know i talk to him and all that so 